Hi guys, today we have Mr. Anuj Behura with us and Anuj is an amazing success story of elimination techniques, previous year questions and smart work at the right time. Anuj, welcome for this uh, feedback session. Let us quickly have your uh, profile. How many attempts have you given at prelims and what has been the result so far? Uh, so this was my third attempt in 2022. Mm. Uh, in the first two attempts, I wasn't able to clear it. Mm. But this time I have cleared it and I wrote mains uh, mm. of uh, civil services as well mm. as forest services. That's great. Absolutely uh, uh, fantastic performance in prelims this time. In fact, you uh, are expecting around 120 as your score, right? In yes, this I, I, have, I have attempted about 80, 85 questions. Okay. And uh, I have a uh, correct ratio of about 70 to 80 percent uh, I have of the questions I have marked correct. Okay. And I'm expecting a score above 120. 120. That is amazing. So the first thing that will come to anyone's mind is this being the third attempt and, uh, you know, subsequent unfortunate failures in the two attempts. One is already bogged down by that failure and the weight of expectations, etc. What changed in your attempt this time? So, yeah, exactly. I was thinking, ki what can different can I do in this attempt, which I have not already done. I had gone through my static. I had got to practice my current affairs as well. Yes. Mm. Wasn't, wasn't getting the results. Mm. The only thing that I did differently this time was that I enrolled into your uh, program. You taught the elimination techniques, which you, you do, which were vastly different from what we come across in the market today. Mm. Because I have used those techniques in the, my previous two attempts and I did not get results. Okay. And the added emphasis that you give on PYQs uh, was... That is the previous year questions. PYQs yeah, yeah. Previous previous questions. Year questions yeah. was the another change that I made in my approach this time. Hmm. And they have given me a good reward. Absolutely. Uh, let us begin from this uh, 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 feeling that you have that the techniques which you learned in my course are vastly different from what the market is offering, the conventional techniques. So what is what is the difference here? So the, uh, in my previous two attempts, I would simply mark the questions which are extreme extreme statements or absolute statements as correct or wrong based on those those extreme wordings. Mm. Uh, if it is a uh, if it is a very big simple statement, big statement, then I would mark it correct. If it is mm. an extreme statement, I would mark it wrong. Mm. Mm. But your techniques are extremely different. They are not. I won't say it, they, those are techniques. I would say there's those are approaches. Approaches. Which, ways of thinking. Uh, yeah. Ways of thinking. Every mm. you 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 do not. I do in the this this attempt. I did not mark the question just based on some certain technique. Ki aisa question hai, phir yehi answer hoga. Mm. I saw the question. I th saw what was the merit of the question, whether or not it, mm. it should be attempted or not. Yeah, there's Good. one more thing that you teach as, teach as well mm. is to which questions to choose and which questions to avoid. Yes, very uh, important. And mm. after that, uh, developing the way of thinking ki how should we think in this particular question. Mm. Uh, one thing that I can uh, bring to your notice is that the BDBD question, which was uh, in, mm. in in this hour, in the, the, in this year, yes. So that was completely based on your elimination technique, uh, so uh, te technique of approach. I have solved that it by that question. Right. Uh, other questions which I have used your technique in is that uh, the Security Council question of credentials. Credentials uh, committee. Yes. Uh, even the UN General mm. Assembly question this time as well mm. was solved or by that like that only. Yes. And even tough questions previous year questions i remember even tough questions like the uh songs of prison question yeah they were while, <laughs> good while I, yeah while i initially when i saw that question i thought it was a completely uh very specific question huh. but it was later when you told ki see there are different clues which have been given in the question itself hmm. then i realized ki, okay fine this is not a question of uh knowledge it is a question of elimination Mm. So that uh, these all techniques I have never found in any elimination technique course in the market. Mm. So yours is vastly different, and it, mm. and again, it's not a technique which I have learned. It's an approach mm. which I get for in solving questions. Okay, so the major difference that you are saying is these are not mechanical uh, or memory based hacks which are exactly. doing the rounds exactly. in even the paid courses the free videos there there are of course you know there is no foundation on the free video so the instructor is really free about uh, what is 
he teaching he or she is teaching but even in paid courses we see some form of mechanical and some form of memory based approaches but here you are saying that it is more of a logical based and ways of thinking right okay uh, this clouds question you were mentioning when you are having yes, this sir, discussion yes exactly yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, uh i remember this question this question almost all of my friends are mad correct and uh, this for this year the question was that high clouds are responsible for global warming and low clouds are responsible for releasing of uh, radiation yeah so when i read the only reason why i was able to get this question correct is because hmm. you have a because upsc has a habit of interchanging the options hmm. so when i read the question i knew okay fine either c is correct or d is correct hmm. but however i went ahead and marked the d option because i remember you told me specifically ki have a command over pyqs mm. and since i only when i read that question i remembered only one question that was the cirrus cloud thinning which is a 2020 or 2090 question 2019 yeah, i think 19 yes huh. yeah, and while uh, during the uh, solving with you in with you in the classes i had mm. marked it wrong and i had mm. marked it for rainfall but mm. then i learned ki okay it is for global warming Mm. and after repeated solving of those questions mm. uh, when this question came of high cloud and low clouds i mm. immediately remembered only one question and that was that mm. that and question i knew i knew if i mark c then mm. it is in contradiction to that question yes so it has to be marked d so that is why i got that question correct and it everyone yes. yeah it, it helped a lot it helped a uh. lot i that is the only basis on which i have marked i did not have any knowledge of high clouds low cloud anything mm. Okay. There's no serious clouds are called high clouds. Yes, and that is all. Okay, that is all. How I have no and and your question. friends got like you were saying your friends got the question correct or incorrect? They have got or everyone has gotten it incorrect. Okay, incorrect. I have huh. yeah. I, uh, hmm. In fact, I have uh, after my exam, I had there is uh, something. There's an app called Nautilus something. Okay. In which you put you in which you put up your answer you, your answer key. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, that you have solved and it uh, call and it uh, cross checks with the answer keys of coaching institutes okay uh, okay yeah 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 from uh, so i had checked it uh, uh, across four to five coaching institutes and okay. uh, if I, since lot of students put uh, put up their answer keys mm-hmm. so that uh, that app comes up with the questions which you should have had done correct which most of the questions people are students are marking it correct and all okay so this okay. high clouds question was marked mm-hmm. as one of the most confusing questions of this year <laughs> <laughs> it it said that it has been attempted by almost a lot of students about uh-huh. 60% of the students uh-huh. who are who have put their answer keys on the platform uh-huh. have marked it uh-huh. and almost 95% of the students have marked it wrong yes it was actually uh-huh. it was one of the most confusing questions yes. yes so and however despite being the most confusing question this is the question which i have marked in my first attempt itself oh, because good. i was very con- uh-huh. i was very confident of this answer key it is going uh-huh. to be d It I, I I I did not need to even after when I came out of my exam hall mm. and discussed these questions with my friends. Everyone was saying that the answer is B. And I said that there is no chance. If this is B, if this is A or if this is B, then the UPSC question will be wrong. Right, right. So there, so this has to be D without a doubt. <laughs> Great. Oh, so uh, that is why I that is why PYQ play a very important role. Very important. In fact, you know this is. Uh, a stark change from your previous attempts. You met me, I think, just a month or two before. Uh, pre- yeah, yeah, yeah. Pre- about three months. Before, about three months before. Three months before prelims, and earlier you never took PYQ seriously. But then, what changed? I mean, how was your approach to PYQs from which year to which year you did, and like, how did you get this command that made you so confident in twenty twenty two prelims? First of all, in my previous two attempts, I have not given as much emphasis to PYQs as I did this time. Hmm. Before this, only PYQs that I had solved was the hmm. PYQs that coaching institute provided. Hmm. Uh, in fact, uh, when I when I uh, solved the P, uh, coaching institute test series, they would just provide a PYQ corresponding to the kind of question that they were providing, hmm. corresponding to which they would provide. It. Since this PYQ was asked, we are asking this particular yeah, question. question. Yeah, yeah. That was the only basis on which I had solved the PYQs. I had not solved PYQs extensively. Hmm. Only after I enrolled into your coaching, only after your program, you emphasized. I realized that okay, fine. This guy is telling that PYQs hold so much importance. Then let hmm. me give it a try. Hmm. It was only after that, since I had already failed in my prior two attempts, and I had hmm. almost solved a uh, test series of. Three mm. to four coaching institutes we've already. Mm. 
सो आई रियलाइज की एंड आई वाज नॉट रीडिंग एनी रिजल्ट्स सो आई थॉट की लेट्स चेंज दिस अप्रोच एंड गो फॉर पीवाईक्यूज टुवर्ड्स अबाउट 3 टू 4 मंथ्स बिफोर प्रीलिम्स आई वाज ऑलरेडी नी डीप इन माय स्टैटिक एंड करंट अफेयर्स रिवीजन बट अगेन आई वाज नॉट गेटिंग दैट कॉन्फिडेंस आई वाज नॉट एबल टू थिंक दैट विल आई बी एबल टू मेक मेक इट दिस ईयर और नॉट इट वाज आफ्टर दैट अबाउट अबाउट अ मंथ ऑफ योर Uh, about a month of your classes i realized mm. pyqs are very important and towards the one month of preparation when there was when there was one month of preparation left mm. i left the current affair part i mm. left the uh, static part and i exclusively mm. focused on pyqs mm. and once i had gained complete command over pyqs then i took up static and mm. then a mere familiarity with the current affairs i did not mm. start bugging up current affairs like mm. the previous times i have right. already done right but that is what i did so i would say that a good command over static pyqs hmm. and a familiarity to uh, current affairs is all hmm. that one needs to clear this exam to clear this exam and of course the proficiency you have with elimination is going to determine yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. and and add to it uh, your class, your elimination techniques and we will and anyone can clear the exam with this so uh, two questions let us just focus on pyqs as of now we'll we'll come to the uh, techniques later so two questions i have about pyqs you said you have got like good command you are so confident about you know what the value of pyqs now so what is the duration of pyqs that you solve uh, that you solved and how many times like how did you attempt did you attempt them year wise by doing the papers or did you do them subject wise what was your approach so my initial approach was based was uh, along with uh, the classes that you took you would uh, make us solve uh, questions at uh, year wise and mm. i had solved it initially year wise completely mm. once i had solved each of the papers year wise from 2010 to 2022 mm. 21 i had solved uh, year wise after mm. that i uh, started doing it again Uh, year wise on a year wise basis hmm. and after uh, do and i have done this each one of the papers from 20 to 2021 each one of the papers i have solved at least 10 to 12 times okay so uh, you solved so the entire paper right you yeah, solved yeah, the entire paper, paper. Yeah, now yeah, entire paper. and 10 entire to 12 paper. times you did every year paper every year, from every 2011 year. till 2021 yeah yeah right yeah. you did that now many students have this uh you know feeling that if you are doing one year paper multiple times after one or two attempts you already know all the answers so what is the point in doing multiple attempts i tell my students to do them do the paper as many times as possible but then they ask me sir why do we want to do them when we already know the answers so what do you feel about this exactly this is what i get with from my friends as well yeah so i will say there are two reasons why uh, why you should do it first it gives validation to the technique that i am using i even if i know the question that i answer to the question that i am attempting even mm. right before reading the question was mm. the fourth or fifth time when i was attempting the paper mm. i knew which question was going to come after three questions i already yes. knew the questions were going to come mm. so, but i would still do it not to mm. not because i remember the answers mm. not because i remember the answers but because i need to get a validation for the technique that i was using mm. further while i am right making the answer while marking the answer i did not just see the answer itself i mm. would see the other options as well yes so i would get a uh, familiarity with the options as well and this has a upsc has a tendency of repeat making the options which have come in this year yes. into questions which come the next yes. year yes yes so i would say the uh, when i went to the exam hall the only reason why i was able to mark 80 to 85 questions with comfort i i would say that there was no risk involved i from my end i knew ki out of the 85 questions 50 will uh, uh, 10 to 15 will be wrong but i was very sure ki i will get uh, 65 to 70 questions correct easily mm-hmm. uh, so the only reason why i was able to do it was because i could see the options and i knew ki i know these options i have seen yes. these options in some the way in some way somewhere yes. and yes. that confidence is very important when you see something which is familiar yes. you feel confident with it you feel I, confident. i when you see that it, i saw the options were familiar i felt like playing with those options yes and and that is why i uh, could easily solve those questions and any... and you know and this gives you tremendous peace of mind and confidence of applying elimination also because with a doubtful mind we always have this principle no whenever we are solving questions the fundamental principle is that if your heart is telling you to go in one direction you got to follow your heart and if your heart is telling you yes this i can, this is a question i can do 
automatically your accuracy of that technique is going to shoot exactly. if your heart is doubtful if you are have fear in your mind automatically it is going to dip so solving the pyqs and each student is unique you are unique i am unique your preparation is different my preparation is different but the questions when you process the question the interlinkages that the questions are going to have in your mind will be different from in my mind exactly so, just like because I, that high clouds question i could immediately recall the serious yes so yes so it is different for everyone yeah in so, many many questions this is going to help okay so you did from because of paucity of time we would say you did from 2011 till 2021 the around yeah, say yeah, 10 yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 11 years questions but i suggest you do from 1979 all the relevant questions from 1979 do you agree with this so it is completed too in fact i only enrolled into your course about 2 to 3 months before the prelims mm -hmm. uh, had i enrolled into your course beforehand maybe 4 5 months beforehand then i would have definitely gone back to 2000 then 1990 then eventually up, up until 1979, 1979 because yes. even the ppt question that we see today yes it has come from a previous question yes but it was mentioned in one of the questions yeah 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 also if you see another question like catalonia there was another question on yes. catalonia where it yes. located yes then that comes from a previous question yes so i would say from the 800 questions that upsc frames every year hmm 50 60 70 even more questions i don't know at least 50 questions you mm. will find certain reference from previous year questions even mm. more if you start researching absolutely. absolutely so had mm. i gotten the additional time if i had enrolled come across your course beforehand mm. then i would have definitely gone gotten way behind from to solve the questions from 1979 right yeah so i would suggest anyone mm. to uh solve the questions from mm. the start from 1921 yes that yes. 2011 to 2021 does take more importance mm. but that does not mean ki the old questions uh, are not important they are important uh, yeah, absolutely you know i have made this uh, repeat questions analysis pdf and on youtube this time in 2022 on youtube i have put the analysis videos 35 questions were directly solvable from pyqs even if we are not applying elimination 35 questions are directly solvable and i have given evidence in the uh, videos you know if it is like three or four statement questions in one odd pyq in 1983 three statement questions had come that one statement will help you solve a question today it's not just the answers but it's at the different levels at which you can analyze you can solve pyqs the first level is of course just the the whole question but then you dive deep every single statement every single option becomes something to worth study Uh, okay uh, another thing that students have their doubt is about coaching industry mock tests versus you know pyqs so many students have this notion that it is mock tests that are important in fact you know they'll do it at the cost of pyqs also so what what do you feel about this this is not true i have solved the coaching material of three to four different coachings over my past two years and they how many tests you would have done in that easily over 100 easily over 100 the big number that's a big number yeah yeah easily over 100 but i it did not yield results for me yes i am not saying ki do other students are not yielding results they are but i wasn't able to and trust me doing this py doing this pyqs will yield you much better results at a much lower effort than yes, the that is true material. so that is true. if mm -hmm. i was if i was familiar with your with, with you or anyone who would have told me ki py the importance of pyqs mm. i don't think i would have uh, i would have failed in my those previous attempts yes pyqs mm -hmm. take prominence over coaching mm -hmm. test test series mm -hmm. any day and Okay, fine. If anyone wants to go for uh, coaching test series, then they mm. can, but only after having command over PYQ. PYQ. First, okay. first establish your command over this. Get mm. your elimination techniques properly, uh, properly done, and only then, if you want to, if you have, if if you can spare time, mm. then go for test coaching series. Test. Just for just just because uh, you don't want to miss out on something. Yes. You know. So the the approach towards coaching tests should be of just. testing yourself what you know but it should not be taken too seriously in the sense that if you are not right. getting a score in coaching test you are all depressed before the exam like you should not weigh heavy on your mind that is yeah. not how it works exactly right I, I, yeah yeah i i believe that coaching test should only be taken as a learner ki 
what is going on in the uh, in the world right now yes familiarity with current affairs is important but yes. the amount of depth in which the coaching institute questions are asked yes that is not required by any uh, that is not asked by upsc UPS. yes so you need the only thing that a aspirant should take out of a coaching institute is coaching institute test series is that what topics are being asked what yes. and a basic level of familiarity with those questions yes with those topics if if possible that is what is needed so one should and not for, worry too much about the excessive degree of factual exactly. information that is asked it is not required it is not, not required at all absolutely and even if upsc asks such questions hmm. then there has to be some other nuance to that question which yes. you can which, which which can be solved with, which can uh, be solved yes yeah which can be solved you do not upsc does not expect you to have the yes. extreme details of any report uh, what, what it is it is absolutely related. You can solve the question just based on basic logic, logical awareness and elimination, yes. Yes. and and uh, solving n number of quest, uh, uh, questions from, from series will series. not help, but PYQs will definitely help. definitely help. You know, this is this conviction. You know, the conviction that you are speaking with right now will not come unless you have actually put your heart into PYQs and see the beauty with which you know they deliver. the accuracy of the effort which you are putting in the returns that you are getting from pyqs is many 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 times more than the coaching industry uh and one now we are coming to the final part pyqs yes absolutely necessary these are but there is this sentiment in the market that the techniques elimination techniques they are not of any value now especially in the last 2 years after 2021 this sense is uh getting stronger that pyq is okay still we can say that some amount of repetition is there but elimination techniques are not of much use in fact many students say they are not of any use now what do you feel about that so it's absolutely wrong elimination tech i again i will say the elimination techniques which i have come across in the previous two years from the market yes they are not of importance marking the extreme statements wrong marking simple statements correct they are not of importance but you need to have an approach towards marking questions upsc is not going to ask you simple straightforward static questions it will ask questions which require logical thinking absolutely which is which requires approach approaching each question based on its merit yes so and that can be developed by solving pyqs by developing and elimination techniques which you teach are vastly different from what we get from the market hmm you teach uh, you teach how to choose how to choose whether a question needs to be marked or not yes. after choosing you teach the relative importance of each and every option yes after choosing you you teach whether or not what is the scope of the question what is the scope of yes. the options whether this whether both the scopes are matching or not yes once they are matching then then choose keep okay fine this option is going with with this option the, the other option is going with this option yes. which is why these two options have to come together can you uh, can you give me can you give me an example of course sir. uh like for example that uh, the uh, the question of the oxides of sulfur are very uh, harmful for are, are harmful for human human use yes so that question was there hmm. so you you simply marked a few options were marked wrong because hmm. the question stated it is a cause of concern or it is of yes. serious concern yes yes which is yes. why which, which is why certain <laughs> questions certain options have to be marked wrong because uh. the, the scope of question did not match the scope the of the scope of the answer yes yes exactly. correct so where the scope is high you 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 hmm. teach us to identify the scope you teach hmm. us to identify the question and yes. that is how and that is required and that i believe will increase in the pre, in the next upcoming years as well absolutely so, So that is uh, so that, that is why i believe so that whether or not a student gets that from you or from mm. any other source but i believe that is something that one should have yes to solve the questions the pattern in which they are being asked right now absolutely you know it requires tremendous amount of research and study into various aspects of each kind of question to observe yeah. these things i have put in that effort so i can see anybody who puts in that kind of effort can see uh, you know these things with time it's just more of experiential based learning but do you feel that just the pyqs without the techniques which i share in the in my course are of as much value 
as you got in this attempt. Just no, the PYQs sir, without no. the techniques. If 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 we let's eliminate your class your program from my preparation, hmm. and if I only solve start starting solving PYQs, then I will only solve it from the way my other friends solve it. Just hmm. for solving it once, and that hmm. is it. Hmm. I will not go into the options. I will hmm. not see the scope of the questions. I will not hmm. see which questions am I choosing. I'll hmm. just see a question. Hmm. For example, that songs of prison question. I will yes. start. I'll see the answer. Okay, friend. I'll remember songs of prison yes. was written by. Yes, and this person, I, yeah. Uh-huh. That is it. I will not start looking mm. at the other uh, or the other things that have been given in the question. That it is a mm. translation. Yes. That is a religious text. Yes. All these things I will not start looking into it. Yes. Or be it other other question like Dusar mm. Katha. Those questions I I will not see why that option is correct. I will yes. I will see I will just see okay fine this is written by this guy. Mm. So only reason why I your your program gave me. Told uh, ensure that I look into those options. Yes. Study those options. Hmm. I study the question, yes. and then ensure mark mark the mark the correct answer. And seeing the, and this and establishing a pattern over years on on different techniques hmm. is what you have done. Phenomenal, you have done, and that has helped me a lot. You know, actually, I today I feel so proud that I've got a student in you who has put in so much of effort in this program the the kind of effort which i have put in this program that there's a commensurate effort which you have put and the way you are talking about these questions now even after like you know 6 months now uh, since prelims you remember yeah. these questions abhi to mains mein lage hue the to you yeah. there's no way you would be you know going through these questions now but you still remember these nuances in these questions so this gives me tremendous satisfaction that the thing which i intended to you know share with you communicate with you make you people look at you are starting to get into that domain in fact uh, you know this is the main reason why your performance is as good this year as it was it's not just the techniques you know it's not just the pyqs these are all integrated things like the static preparation yeah, yeah, yeah. the pyqs and the techniques these are the th- these are the three tripods that that support your uh, performance like if you put, take away any of these it's going to be a weakened uh, attempt i do do you agree with with this statement true 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 completely true i couldn't have put it better <laughs> okay so one last thing like you told me when we were discussing just before this interview you told me around 40 45 odd questions you did uh, with my techniques in fact you went on to say that you would say around 70 75 odd questions yeah, yeah, yeah. were supported so what what is what is that could you could you clarify that when i say 70 75 questions i would say that again the familiarity which which i had with those questions was important i have barely i can mark the questions uh, on my sheet of paper which i know out of knowledge and that is barely 10 to 15 questions maximum for 20 yeah, yeah the absolutely. other questions were completely out of the techniques that you taught and the knowledge that i gained out of studying the options of the previous questions that is yeah. all that is why those 60 65 70 questions that i am talking about those mm. were all derived from pyqs and the techniques that you taught yes the other questions were based on my knowledge that is just related to 15 questions that is it and that is the case every year you know in every attempt this will remain and it is going to intensify further as exactly. the stress is getting more and more on logical thinking getting logical yeah. thinking persons in the services rather than just knowledge oriented minds right so uh this this was a phenomenal session uh, 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 uh buddy you know this is the kind of time that you took out for this session i i a lot of time actually i i took it uh, i took from uh, the schedule today <laughs> so uh, uh thank you thank you so much for joining me today anuj and uh, i okay. hope you do well in your upcoming exam it's it's your state psc means yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's upcoming in february yeah in february so my yeah. my best wishes for that and see you around buddy thank you thank you bye bye